So I was actually semi-forced into recovery. Um, I came out of like a four-day blackout and my mom gave me the choice to go to a homeless shelter or go to a residential treatment program. At that point I did choose life, so I, I chose residential treatment. And the rest is history. A detox bed opened on Friday and my mom helped me detox for four days prior to going into treatment. I think because I was helped so much by other people that were in recovery and that had made it and I I think my goal before I got into recovery was to figure out how to die and um, which is I know that's dark. Um, I look back at my journey and I just know it's possible that you can help someone even if they don't want it and so um, I think that's where I got in and, and I've been through a lot of stuff they've been through and I think it's just always really helpful to have someone walk with you who has been through it and and sometimes the, the students call it street cred. The students here are incredible and I get goosebumps talking about them but the work they do on a daily is so inspiring and magical and just awesome. <laughs> so it's a privilege. <laughs>